Hi, this is Shiva. I have been teaching and practicing yoga since last seven years. And the most common question I have ever been asked is that does yoga reduces your body weight? Of course, yoga helps to reduce your body weight. There are certain kinds of yogic practices, which is known as power yoga, which is more dynamic form of yoga helps to reduce your body weight because it includes cardiovascular activities and dynamic movements. So it does not only reduce your body weight, but also tone up your body very beautifully. So the sequence as I have designed, it works on your entire body. It strengthens your legs and tone up your thighs and calf muscles. It is good for building your core strength and provide strength to your shoulder also. You will find yourself sweating a lot after these exercises. As these are the cardiovascular exercises, it will challenge your stamina also. And there are a lot of repetitions happens when we do the power yoga, which is very much beneficial in reducing your body weight. And I would recommend you to do at least 10 to 20 rounds of sun salutation before starting these exercises so that your body will get warm up and your body will get used to of this dynamic form of yoga, which is power yoga. We are going to start with Utkatasan or squats. Now I would like you to do 40. You can take rest after 10 each repeat. As you inhale, lift your hip up, exhale, drop your hip down towards the floor, just like you are trying to sit on the chair. So you inhale and exhale down. When you are doing this movement, I would like to make you sure that you should take care of few points. Make sure that your knees are not pushing forward beyond your toes. Your knees are slightly behind the toes. Sit down. When you are bending down, your spine should be straight and you are not bending your shoulders forward and not bending your spine forward. That is the common mistake that everybody does. Make sure you are using only your hip when you are bending down. Your upper body will be straight. As you are inhaling, lift your hip up. Try to use your glute muscle when you are coming up. That will give you a, another level of challenge. Keep doing this and don't forget to breath. As you exhale, go down. You inhale, come up. So the next exercise we are going to start with is downward facing dog. I would like you to come to the downward dog position. Take some time to fix yourself in this position. Push your heels down. Lengthen up the spine. Keep pushing your tail towards the ceiling. Make your shoulders strong and keep your head between your arms. Lift your right leg up and bend your right knee and bring your right knee forward. When you are bringing your right knee forward, make sure you are swinging your shoulders just above your wrist. Inhale, lift your leg up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, bring your knee forward. Remember, when you are getting your knee forward, always make sure that you swing your shoulders over your wrist. Do not lock your shoulders. Swing your shoulders forward towards your wrist. So your shoulders are just above your wrist. And then switch the leg. Once your 10 seconds are done, lift your left leg up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift, exhale, forward. One small thing that I would like to you, keeping your awareness at your abdomen. Each time you come to your knee bend, forward position, which is also known as half plank position. So your abdomen is really working high. Clean your abdomen really. And then relax. So your next exercise also start with downward facing dog. Just walk one tiny step forward in the downward facing dog and then bend your knees towards your forehead and then back. Exhale as you bend and inhale go back to downward facing. When you are bending make sure that your shoulders are really clogged and you are not swinging your shoulders too much. You are trying to bring your knees as closer to as your forehead as much as possible. 
I would like you to do 20 counts this exercise. We are going to do a slight variation in it. Or you can see a progression for a next exercise. So from small dog, I would like you to go to plank. So you go to small dog and plank. Then bend to small dog, then plank. Bend and plank. And bend as you exhale, inhale to plank. Bend as you exhale, inhale plank. I would like you to do 10 to 20 repeats of this exercise depending on how you are feeling right now. Once your repeats are done, just relax. For the next exercise, I would like you to stand Gap between your legs, hip width apart, raise your arms up, down and lift your right leg up straight and then up and down. Inhale lift, exhale down, raise your arms up, inhale lift, exhale down, raise your arms up. Continue this exercise for 10 to 20 repeats. Spur on your capacity and once your 20 repeats are done, you can lift your right leg up. Toe pointing out, keep your knee entirely straight and hold this position for 10 seconds. If in this position your hands are not reaching on the floor, you can slightly bend your left knee slightly at this point. Make sure that you get enough balance but placing the hands on the floor. That doesn't matter if your palms are not on the floor, your fingers can give you a little support in this position. Once your holding is done, you will repeat the same thing on the other side. Lift your leg up and down on the floor and raise your arms up towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale down. Each time you are lifting that left leg up, make sure that your knee is completely straight and your toes are pointing out. You are working on that ankle, working on your calf muscles, working on the shin, working on your knee. Your entirely lower body is engaged in this exercise. Once your 10 to 20 repeats are done, lift your legs up. Stay in the position for 10 seconds. Feel your body. Feel your lower body, your upper body. Your lower body is really working higher, placing that leg up in the air. Keep it completely tight. You may have the temptation to bend your knee, but you don't have to bend your knee. Once your 10 and 20 seconds are done, get your leg down and lift your arms up as you inhale. Exhale, relax. Lie down on your back. Lift your legs up. As you exhale, make the circle with your legs. Anticlockwise and inhale up. Exhale anticlockwise, inhale lift it up. In this particular movement, make sure that your knees are not bending. If your hamstring is too tight, then it's okay to slightly bend your knees, but not too much otherwise, you are not going to feel anything in your abdomen. Another thing is, if you are feeling too much pressure on your back, make sure that your legs are not going low towards the floor. You can raise your legs up little bit above the floor. So as you exhale, go down, inhale, lift your legs up. I would like you to do 10 cycles of this and then repeat the same thing clockwise on the other side. Exhale as you take your legs down and inhale and lift your legs up. Exhale, take your legs down and inhale, lift them up. Once you have done with all this, lie down in Shavasan and relax. After your all core exercises are done, lie down on your back, lift your right leg up, bend your knee and push your knee down towards the floor, towards the left side. You use your left hand to push the knee down on the floor and feel the twist in your back. Make sure that your shoulders are not getting lifted up. Lift this leg up again to the back. Same thing on the other side. Lift your left leg up fold it across and take your right hand press this knee towards the floor on the right side 
look towards the opposite side. And then again, lift this leg up and down. I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. To know more update about yoga and learning new techniques of yoga, keep connected with Yogpath Wellness. Please subscribe our YouTube channel and download the Yogpath app from the description. Thank you so much to you all.